Hello, welcome to the channel. This video is about direct speech and report speech. Let's get started. Today, we continue to talk about some hints that related to changing from direct speech to report speech or indirect speech, and some other things that we have to care about. Let's take a look. What areas should we cover? Hints. When you're changing from direct speech to reporter speech or indirect speech, what areas should we care about? And also, some reporting verbs when we are using it in reporter speech, and also when we are having a reporting questions or request or even orders, what should we do? And there is some extra hints afterwards. So, what situation we have to care about when we are changing a direct speech to indirect speech or report speech? Sometimes we don't have to change the verbs from direct speech to report speech. What situation could we do that? Let's take a look. We don't need to change the tense in indirect speech or report speech if a person said. Is still true or relevant or has not happened yet. Sometimes people talk about future when someone uses a simple present, simple continuous, or perfect tense in their original words. Example: He told me his brother works for an Italian company. Is still true. She said she's getting married. The time at the moment of speaking is this year. It hasn't happened yet. He said he has finished painting the door. Probably he just said it a short time ago. She promised she will help us. The promise applies to the future. Hong Kong summers are too hot. It's still vetted. She told me she lives in New York now. It's still true. She said that she is coming to Hong Kong tomorrow. Is a situation in the future. Very nice. Then the next areas we gonna cover is reporting verbs. There are a lot of different reporting verbs, and every different of them will have a different structure to use. Let's take a look how many situation we gonna cover. Reporting verbs are verbs that you used to report what someone said. For example, the words say, tell, and explain, but there are tons more others. Usually, we use a reporting verbs plus a that clause to report the speech. They said that they were very tired the day after the party. Now, there are some other patterns we could use in reporting speech. Let's take a look. Number one, these words advise, encourage, invite, order, remind, and warn. You have to have an object plus a to infinitive. Number two, agree, design, offer, promise, refuse, threaten. You simply add a to infinitive, and the to infinitive function as a blue. Number three, the word accused, blame, congratulate. You have to have an object, okay, plus a prepositional phrase function as a color green. And number four, deny, recommend, suggest, simply plus a gerund. And number five, apologize, admit, insist. They plus a preposition of face function as agree. Number six, informed, promise, remind, tell, plus a me, an object, and a that clause that they could or they would finish it. There's some more hints that we have to care about when we are using these reporting verbs. What are they? Let's take a look. The following verbs used with the word that, the that clause. Okay, add, answer, cry, explain, reply, said, and shout. How about when we are reporting questions, requests, or others? How to arrange it? Let's take a look. Reporting questions are very similar to reporting a statement.、Uh, we simply have. For example, for yes or no questions, we simply use if and whether to initiate the report. Example: Mary asked if or whether I was going to the party, or I asked her if she liked parties. 
For question words starting with W, we simply repeat the question word. Billy asked when the party was. There's some more hints when we are reporting a request or an order. How to arrange it? Let's take a look. We don't repeat a scenario verb to do when we report a question. I ask if she liked parties, but omit the word does. When we are reporting request, it's the same way we report yes to no question by using if or whether to initiate the reported speech. She asked if he could lend her the book. To report orders, we will use the structure a verb plus an object plus a two infinitive. So, he told me to go. And this time, the to infinitive is function as a yellow, telling you me. He told me, okay, what well, actually me to go? To go to the bank. However, to report a negative order, we put not before the to infinitive. So, our swimming instructor ordered us not to dive into the pool. Not to dive. Okay, it's function as a yellow. What kinds of mistakes most students would make? There's some situation that you have to be aware. Let's take it. A report a question is not an actual question. Actually, it's a statement. So we don't have a question mark at the end. Instead, a statement ended with a full stop. My teacher asked when I could come. All right, and also we use a that clause with a module verb should to report others. For example, our streaming instructor told us that we shouldn't dive into the pool. Very nice. That's all for this chapter. Like our videos and subscribe our channel. See you next time. Goodbye.